Hey guys, today we are going to talk about five cards in standard that have gone up in price. We will start with Torrential Gear Hulk. Gear Hulk is one of those cards that has gone up and down and up and down. It depends on control. It is a extremely powerful card. It has gone up significantly recently. So it is $19. If you can pick them for under that, they might be worth if a control deck emerges for Pro Tour Amaket. And Pro Tour Amaket, I believe, is going to be a slower standard format than previous blocks, unless there is a zombie deck. And I will talk about that zombie deck. I've looked at a few deck ideas, and it seems okay, but zombies are a very different version of aggro. So Torrential Gear Hulk, it's so priced, it's going to be dependent on whether or not a control deck emerges at 6, it is a ton. It does have flash and it can play. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you may cast target instant card from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. So you have the ability to really go off and affect the tempo. So I like this card. Definitely a hold for me. But if you can trade into them, I feel like trading into them may be okay. It's a good card. And at the very least, you may just have an EDH copy lying around. You might just want one for EDH. Next, Fatal Push. Let's talk about this card. It is the Uncommon in a Modern Set, which is now $8. Previously, it was $5, and I felt, as many people did, that a $5 Uncommon in a set, in a recent set like A for Revolt, that was just the previous set. So people were still drafting it until recently. People were still opening boxes, fat packs, etc. Would, in fact, not be $5. I mean, a booster pack is $3 and some chains. This is an uncommon that if you open it, it pays for your booster pack, assuming that you're calculating retail value. Now, what has gone on with this card? And why is it $8.25? It is a 4 of in a lot of modern decks. It is a 4 of in most of the standard decks that are in black. It's just amazing. I played, I still don't have a copy of this in Magic Duels, but I'm playing a significantly worse a version of this, and even that's playable. So let's talk about why. A for Revolt was a terrible set. I know people don't believe that, and they don't believe Amaket is a, you know, they believe Amaket is a wonderful set, and the cards are super powerful and broken and all that good stuff. But I can tell you what sets are going to be powerful and what sets are not. Aether Revolt has very few powerful cards, and it was not opened as much as Kaladas. It just was not. Aether Revolt, as a expected value for box, was not very high when it released, and was not very high and has dropped significantly since then. So you have a you have many less copies of Fatal Push than you would normally expect. And that's why its price is its price. So next, Relentless Dead. I do want to talk about this zombie deck, and the next few cards will be zombie cards. It has a curve. One of the most important things of a zombie deck is you have a turn one, you have a turn two, and then you have a turn three, and then you can either do something creative on turn four or not. And that's aggro. Aggro is playing something exactly to the curve and having very aggressive creatures. Relentless Dead is very aggressive. It's too black for a 2-2 menace. So already you have some type of advantage there. And whenever it dies, you can pay one. If you do return it to its owner's hand, that's a powerful effect because it's going to die a lot of times. Whenever it dies, you may pay uh, X. If you do, return another target zombie from creature card with converted mana X from your graveyard to the battlefield. Aggro, it is aggro. Attack, attack, attack. Don't worry about them dying because you can bring them back to life and put creatures in your graveyard. And that is incredibly important in this particular build. I haven't really found a build I like, but I might take something to FNM as a standard deck. I do have copies of most of these cards. Uh, next one is a bulk card that has gone up a little bit in price. Diagraph Colossus, two and a black zombie giant, two two. Whenever it enters battlefield, uh, enters the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it for each zombie card in your graveyard. And again, by turn, 
free maybe a few zombies have died or maybe you have discarded it i have seen a red build that uses the reunion card to ditch zombies ditching cards is actually relatively easy because remember we had the whole madness mechanic and a lot of cards turn on by via madness so we have the colossus whenever a zombie whenever you cast a zombie spell you get a 2-2 black zombie token so that's very good into battlefield tapped which is relevant i like it I like all the zombies. Uh, we don't know what the actual deck will be at the Protar Armaket. It could have, it could be in red. I've also seen some different versions where the whole point is to discard your hand, draw a new hand, and play out the zombies that way. It's a little slower because you're wasting your tempo on discarding and filling up your graveyard rather than just playing creatures and smashing. Again, it will depend on. It, this deck will depend on how easy it, how the meta fits. If you have a lot of Gideons running around, zombies are very good against Gideons because Gideons don't trade well with creatures that recur themselves. And this is the main card and this is the main spike. This carding is very important for any zombie deck. Crypt Breaker from Eldrick Moon. I remember opening a ton of these, like just dozens of this card. And now it is playable. So one black for a 1-1 one, one zombie. Important that it is a one drop zombie. One in the black. Discard a card. Put a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token onto the battlefield. So what we talked about was you need to discard zombies in your graveyard. This is exactly the card you want as your turn one drop. And it explains why it went from looks like a little under $2 all the way up to over $6 pretty much overnight. Whatever zombie deck that is built, is it a red deck, is it a mono black deck, who really knows? I know that this card will be part of it because the zombies are really about discarding and recursion. I believe it will have red. I just cannot see it not having red. Red being one of the best madness mechanics and one of the better, I mean, I've seen the white version of it too because remember, and I'm a cat, we had a lot of zombies. A lot of zombies and I'm not entirely sure what the best build would be uh, involving the new Amaket cards however if you do know leave me a comment below I will be building one of these and I will make a deck tech uh, a deck tech using my camera eventually it's been a while since I used my camera on this channel but I probably will make next week just you know that type of video Anyway, leave me a comment below if you guys are excited about this deck or any of these cards that have spiked has surprised you or have they not surprised you? Were you able to spec on them before they went up in price? And what would you like to see next week or I guess whatever next spike? Anyway, bye guys.